I was getting some, uh, some very weird readings. I had turned the microphone physically off and it was still, um, the bar was still spiking a little bit. Okay. So just as before we've fallen into the, uh, the cave here, but we're somebody different. We're Clover. And it's Froggit. We know Froggit. Unless you somehow never saw or played Earthbound. Or Earthbound, uh... Undertale. Ah, hello! Are you alright? You must be wondering what is going on. I am Toriel, caretaker of the ruins. I pass through here every day to see if anyone has fallen down. It does not happen often. You are the first to come here in a long time. Do not be afraid, little one. I will do my best to protect you here. Come, I shall guide you through your new home. The ruins are full of puzzles, ancient fusions between diversions and door keys. They must be solved in order to, room, to move from room to room. Allow me to demonstrate. We are free to proceed now. Follow me, my child. There are more puzzles ahead. In this room, you will need to trigger several switches. Do not worry, I have labeled the ones that you need to flip. Bizarre. I have my laptop muted and it's still making Discord notification sounds. Splendid! I am proud of you, my child. Press this switch, please. Also press this switch, please. It should have opened by now. I am sure I labeled the correct lever. Ah, do not worry, little one. Try flipping the other switch. My child! Are you alright? Oh dear, 
I'm afraid I cannot reach you. I must leave for a moment. You will stay there, will you not? Do not wander. Many monsters are unfriendly toward humans. Fret not, my child. I will protect you. Please, wait there. All right, it's looking like I'm getting a little bit of uh, occasional keyboard clicks in the microphone. I'm going to switch to a gamepad. Perfect. <laughs> I should probably bind my unmute key to a different button. Okay, we can see here we are Clover. We have a toy gun and a worn hat or a little cowboy kid. And they, uh, we were carrying a missing poster, and we dropped it when we fell down here, so. Howdy! I'm Flowey. Flowey the flower. Hmm. You look confused. Toriel ought to taught you how things work around here. She didn't? I guess little old me will have to do then. Do you want me to teach ya? Sure, Flowey. See that heart? That's your soul. The very culmination of your being. Your LV represents your love. It's, uh... <laughs> I'm sure you won't have to worry about that. In the underground, monsters may try to attack you. If you see bullets like these, you need to avoid them at all costs. Try dodging my bullets now. Here they come. Nice job there, buddy. In case you do get hit, I can save your progress. That means if something bad happens, I can make it unhappen for you. You probably want to go home, don't you? Well, you've got a long journey ahead. If you ever need to save, come look for me. I'll leave these little things around for you. Well, that pretty much covers it. Good luck, pal. Howdy. Looks like you got it then. So in Undertale, uh... Risk is filled with determination, and that allows them to save their game. But uh, we're not filled with the same determination, and Flowey has to do it for us. Luckily, he's such a little friendly guy. Very helpful. It's Flyer. Everything has that new car smell with a faint whiff of body spray. To inform Flyer that his life isn't half over, he has a whole half left to go. I... this isn't really me.
Flyer is ready to return to his regular life. It's a sign. It says exposition in large friendly letters. Oh, that resets it. Interesting. Stuck? Press this for a do-over. Or don't. Make what is dim bright. Make what is dark light. Private property. No trespassing. Hello. I'm happy to finally meet you face to face. How long has it been? I was wondering if you'd ever come back. No. Too forward. Who am I kidding? I'll never be able to meet you in this state. I just hope you know. I had no choice. It must be this way. Huh? Who? I must be seeing things. Vanilla. A sketchy character. So all my handwork leads to this? Or hard work. I can read. Vanilla seems busy drawing. You compliment Vanilla's work. She looks a little uncomfortable. You're just saying that because you feel obligated. battlefield is covered in eraser shavings. You put yourself in between Penilla and her work. I have been at this for a while. Penilla's packing up her art supplies for the day. Howdy! I see you're still in one piece. You saw that weirdo, right? If you want to get out of here, you'll have to go through him. He shouldn't be a problem, though. And if he is, that's why I'm here. Why is this not cooperating? Operating now. Maybe I just want to go this way. So I've played through the uh, the first two bosses and uh, kind of immediately decided I needed to stream this for real. So there's nobody here. We're gonna leave a tip. 5G in the tip jar. Your conscience feels light as a feather. Good night, Edelweiss. Sweet corn hops up excitedly.
Sweet corn is constantly on a sugar rush. Remember, I always love you. Sweet corn jumps up and down in celebration. You give sweet corn a big hug. She briefly gets stuck to your shirt. I love hugs. I don't know why I thought I could avoid that. Sweet corn is smiling contentedly. It's a rejected piece of corn. Take it. Maintained candy corn. Okay, there's no need to spare a monster twice, so we'll just run. Friend, I planted these for you. It isn't much, but I hope it brightens your day. It always brightened mine. Friend, do not fear the unknown. Sometimes they're nice. Is it wrong to hold doubt in my actions? I enjoyed life before. I did. But I can't go back. What happened that day would only repeat. What is this? Why do they appear every time I start monologuing? I need more rest. Roran encounters you. Uh, we are going to smile. You give this. You give a slight smile. Roran smiles back. Smiles are never out of style. Roran reflects on his current circumstances. You critique your appearance. Roran is very pleased. You look perfect. Roram is looking for his next big project. There appears to be a drawing of a cat scribbled on it. Does this make it a caterpillar? Howdy. Golly, this place sure is dead. All the monsters are all quiet and lurking. That's not like monsters at all. Don't let this ruin your impression of the underground. We'll leave this dump behind soon enough. Desibat makes his presence known. Missing his quiet solitude. Don't move. Don't make a sound. Hush, hush. Desibat is whispering something too quiet to hear. You watch Desibat in silence. He seems to appreciate it. Move in silence. Hush, hush. Desibat looks slightly more at ease. Don't shy away! Hush, hush! I am very bad at that. Whispers only, please! Hush, hush!
More quiet, please. Join the silence. You hear that? No? Good. He's l being lulled to sleep. Sweet silence. I declare you an honorary sentinel of silence. I trust you to keep peace and order here. I shall go conquer new lands in the name of quiet. This is a very high honor, so keep it hush hush. Thanks, dude. Howdy. You seem to be doing well. You haven't even died once. Not that I thought you would, but it's nice to be prepared. Alright, there was something back here that I wanted to check out. this area here that like a secret area but there's a little pile of conveniently bullet shaped pebbles take them yes okay we got something I love clover's run animation Crispy Scroll is looking for someone to talk to. Crispy Scroll, looking for someone who can match his enthusiasm. Don't go tune today on me now. Crispy Scroll is talking in circles. You join Crispy Scroll in his excited yelling. Wait, do you speak fluent reference? Crispy Scroll is 50% powered up. You and Crispy Scroll perform a magical transformation sequence. <gasps> Crispy Scroll can't believe that just happened. Coursing through my ribbons. Crispy Scroll hit 100%. He's reached Super Crispy Mode 2K. You jostle the gate. It doesn't budge.
I seem to recall what I once saw so often. What I remembered, it seems, is now forgotten. So then, never mind, I guess. It's a stray feather. Take it. We have a stray feather. Loving these new tracks. You notice a dark path beyond the rocks, but you can't squeeze past them. He's sound asleep. Maybe you shouldn't disturb him. you are, but I ask you. Please leave. Property of Dalv, that monster in the cloak. No trespassing. There's corn on the cobweb. Not too far now. You just gotta deal with that downer. Then you're out of the ruins. See you on the other side, pal. There's a corn dog hiding amongst the corn cobs. Take it. Got a corn dog. A pile of crates, all containing corn. You're getting tired of the stuff. Don't step on the flowers. You're still following me. I thought I made it clear that I want to be left alone. I don't understand. You. You look just like them. Is this some sort of haunting? Or have you come to finish the job? Retreating here wasn't enough, so you hunted me down. Right? What? And I was just starting to accept my reality. The cruelty. Whatever I did to you that day was not my intention. I was only... Never mind. Words aren't enough. I... I don't want to fight anybody, but you've invaded my home. The exit is blocked and you can't stay here. I will not allow it. Only one thing to do. Dalv musters his fighting spirit. Dalv, attack six, defense four, wants to be left alone. I don't suppose you can leave the way you entered, could you? That would be easier for both of us. Dalv seems to be dreading his next attack. Valve does not seem to value communication. Where did you come from, anyway? There aren't any accessible entrances. Valve seems to be in conflict with his more humane side. Hey, Mauserette. Or Blast Express speaking for Mauserette, I'm not sure which. Valve doesn't notice your offer of goodwill. All I know is that somehow, you found me. Sorry to make things difficult, but I'm not cowering away this time.
Dov seems to be dreading his next attack. The other monsters. Did you pester them as well? Not that I care much to keep up with their activity. Let's eat a candy corn. <laughs> you eat a candy corn. You now know why it was discarded. This region of the ruins is my home. And my home has rules. The residents understand that. Dalv takes a break to brush off his cloak. Maybe now we can talk to him. Dalv does not seem to value communication. But it seems as you never got the memo. That, or you're purposefully ignoring my wishes. sad face. Don't you understand? Don't you remember me? I know you aren't a phantom, but could it be that... No, it isn't possible. Dalv takes a break to brush off his cloak. You... You look so helpless. Different. But is it a front? No. You aren't trying to hurt me. You... You aren't who I believed you to be, are you? How could I be so foolish? I apologize. I truly do. This got out of hand. I... I don't know how I can make things right now. Now we can give him a handshake. Dalv accepts your offer of goodwill. You want me to... shake your hand? Even after I wrongfully attacked you? But that is... a sign of friendship. You're a human, right? It's the same where you come from? I'm not sure. I didn't expect to meet another human. Let alone befriend them. Don't get me wrong, I'd love to have a friend. I mean, I think. I don't really remember what that entails. I guess I'll give it a shot if you will. All right. What do friends do, actually? Do you want to, um, see my house? Or something? I have to go there anyway, so I guess stop by if you have time. Go save real fast. Nice job, kid! I bet your conscience feels light as a feather. Making friends is a good way of getting through here. Avoiding conflict, keeping yourself safe. I get that. We just started and you've already befriended me and him. Aren't you the popular one? By the way, if you want to explore more before we leave, you should know this. I've removed all my safe points besides this one from here. No use in going back there. I'll be at this one and this one only until you want to leave. See you later. That's a little suspicious. I wonder why they're not back there. It seems like you took your time. Oh, but don't worry. I'm used to standing around by my lonesome. I keep myself occupied by cleaning around the house. It's my hourly routine. I have to, um, fix something. All right, I know you're probably eager to get going, but feel free to stay as long as you like.
I don't exactly have a huge selection of food. I don't get out much. Oh wait, I have some leftovers you can take with you. I hope you like it. I made it for my birthday. Sponge cake is my favorite. It's a sponge covered in frosting. Take it? Yes. You got the sponge cake. Sorry I didn't invite you. It was last week. You can come next year. It's an intimidating looking wardrobe. Open it. There's a balloon floating slowly inside. It has a cute little happy face drawn on it. Hey, um, would you mind giving Pops his space? He likes the dark. You wave goodbye to Pops before closing the door again. You like those? Those are my projects. I sometimes try to write books, like for kids and stuff. The table's covered in colorful pencils and pages strewn with cute pictures. I sometimes kind of forget what colors things are outside this place, so I just make them up. I think the kids will find it more interesting like that anyway. Yeah, it might not be as educational, though. It's a little table with a built-in drawer. It seems to be locked. A small table for one sits in the corner. You can't help but notice its fine craftsmanship. Someone made that for me a while back. It's a single corn from the cornfield out in the ruins. I started that field from one piece of corn. Before I closed off the door to Snowden, something happened. I kept finding corn sitting on my doorstep. Every morning it was just there. I didn't know who was leaving it, but... Somehow, I thought they were my friend. I always wanted to repay their kind deeds, but I never could think of anything to leave in return. And one day, they just stopped showing up. That's when I decided to hide away. But I planted the last cob of corn I had down here. It's taken to the environment surprisingly well. I always found it rather inspiring. Be careful with that. That broom has been like my best friend. I never thought he'd be replaced by a real friend. I could never replace your broom. It's a little table with a built-in drawer. It seems to be locked. Huh. Let's look at something else, okay? Are you ready to leave? All right, take as long as you like. All right, before we go up there, I want to come back here. I guess I'll save in case something happens. The exit is through his house. Go on. So, Flowey saying we can't go back. Yeah, there's stuff's different. Now I can fulfill my dreams of opening a free hugs booth. I'll get to see everyone's smiling faces. Great job, little corn guy. Wow, I can go wherever I want now? I was tired of hiding from Dal. You can only draw so many landscapes of tiny cracks and good hiding rocks. I finally got to see the big drawing of a sweet corn cob I made. I can't believe Dal hung it up. I know he loves his corn, but I can't believe he liked my art that much. I also can't believe we've been friends for so long and I only just got to see his house. I've always considered Dalvin and me to be friends. He just likes to not be bothered sometimes. I get that. Sometimes I just want to be alone to do my art. I mean, if we weren't friends, I wouldn't go out of my way so much to give him his space. I just can't wait to sketch the outside. Hey, I was just thinking. I really have to show you this house I'm checking out. It's on a beach just outside the ruins. Hey, what's with that look? I'm following your advice and being myself. I'll just be myself in a really cool beach house. You gotta go out and live a lo little once in a while. If you stay in one place too long, it feels like things start to loop. It can drive you a little crazy. 
I'm totally going to learn all the hip dance moves out there. I think uh, I think the old guy's having a um, a bit of a midlife crisis. What was his voice? This new not hiding thing will take some getting used to. I wonder what kind of adventures I can go on now. I could go out and solve the secrets of the entire underground. Meet every monster, brave every danger, see everything I can. Maybe I'll even find a way back to the surface. You never know. Anyone can be a hero. Maybe you could be one too. You might want to get a new hat. That one's looking a bit worn. I'm a little, little cowpoke. I gotta have a little cowpoke hat. Yo, Dalv is opening the door to Snowden. It's been so long. I know what my first stop will be. Dump, here I come. Do you watch anime? I highly recommend it. I mean, some of it's total garbage, but most of it is so good. Maybe we can watch some together. Anything else I'm guess we can check that side area one more time. There's no lemonade left. there's uh, actually nothing back here. Fantastic. Something I always liked in Undertale is the, the sort of implied story of the other souls. I think there are, there are six people who fell into the underground before Frisk, and you get very little about each one of them. Uh, but you do find there every, all the equipment you find in the first game. I think all of it uh, is stuff that they left behind, and so there's like a little bit you can piece together about them. I think the uh, like the bandages and the knife belonged to uh, to Kara or Chara, however you say it. But there was also a ballerina, there was a little cowboy kid, which is us. I don't remember what the other couple of kids were. Welcome back. Um, I'm not sure what to say. I had some cards made for emergency friend situations, but I've misplaced them. Make yourself at home. Again. 
Are you ready to leave? I think we can go now. If that's what you want, I'll lead the way. Well, here we are. Thank you. For everything. You've really helped me out. Because of this, I'm leaving this place. I'm tired of being alone. It'll take a few days to pack up. But I think I'm ready to give the underground another shot. I have so much creativity I've been storing up. I'm finally ready to let my talents show. I can publish my novel, have an organ concert. I might even make another friend. <laughs> what a world it would be if I had two old friends. I'll go around and place corn on every doorstep. Everyone needs a little corn in their life. I've eaten corn every day for a year, and I'm doing moderately okay. <laughs> so much to learn, so much to teach. I'm very excited. Oops, there I go again with my rambling. Let's get you out of here. Oh, well, it seems the exit is blocked off. Let's see. There we go. You're all set. Oh, before I forget, I never asked for your name. Mind informing me? You're Clover. Clover, what a nice name. Well, Clover, thank you so much. See you later, friend. The original text of the sign was crossed out. Now it reads, Entry Forbidden in Blue Crayon. Just check something real fast. All right. So I think in in uh, in Undertale, you you're in a scene like this where you start seeing sands in the trees, right? Howdy. Congratulations on being rid of those old ruins for good. You couldn't even go back if you wanted to now. Isn't the thought of fresh air exciting? Well, don't get ahead of yourself. You're still in the underground. We won't be anywhere near your fancy surface air for a while. Now, let's get moving before my petals freeze. Hop to it, bud. Actually, what was your name again? It isn't bud. It's Gun Hat. Question mark? That's right. It is? Well, gun hat, enough talk. See ya. There appears to be something interesting on this rock. Touch it? Yes. It was just some dirt in the snow. You wipe your hand off on a suspicious carving in the rock face. Hey, pal. What are you wasting time here for? New area a little scary for you? Come on, you can do it. I doubt you'll even need a save. It's just snow, ice, monsters, and possible risk of frostbite. Nothing to it, pal. Now get out there. And of course, this is the Delta Rune, which I think in Undertale is the symbol of the royal family. I could be wrong. Uh, it might actually be something more mysterious. There's an igloo here. I'll inspect. It's just an igloo. 
It's just an igloo. Wait, did you say that already? You think you see the igloo move a bit. So the Delta Rune is the symbol of the royal family and also the prophesied savior, Frisk, I think. It's been ages since I last played, says Mantha. That sounds right. You do a little dance. Someone has come out to investigate. Um, hi. Can I join? Oh god. Frostermit is considering a renovation. You compliment Frostermit's hiding skills. Really? Ninja-like? You start doing a crab walk dance. Frostermit jumps in. Next time, I'll lead. Frostermit is ready to scuttle on its way. I like that the uh, the battle theme gets a little bit of a remix every every new area we go to. It's a fishing hole cut into the ice. I wonder if we can. Uh, I wonder if we can moonwalk. I bet we can. Bad news, chat. I don't think I'm going to be able to moonwalk. This is a box. It is a stupid box. You can put items in it and they'll stay there. Until you take it up, it is, that is, then it's not there. And then there are more of these boxes later. You can use them to retrieve the stuff you put in this box. It's super dumb. Sincerely, a box hater. Stick the feather into your hat. It gives you a proud feeling. Patch. It's not strong, but it's trustworthy. Okay, well, we can put that patch in the box. Recalibrate, recalibrate the lava rock puzzle? Check. Well, it should hold together for a few uses at least. And that's good enough for me. Next stop, Honeydew Resort. To whom it may concern. In accordance with the Royal Guard Guide Book Section 4, Paragraph 2, this puzzle is intended to impede the progress of an intruder, probably you. Entertain the residents of the surrounding area, snowed in, and appear intimidating to would-be intruders or wrongdoers. I'm unclear on what they mean by that, just go with it. To pass by this challenge, you must melt the ice cube. Make sure the ball thing gets to the bottom without breaking, though. Signed, Martlet of the Underground Royal Guard. P.S. If one of the logs gets stuck, just jiggle it a little. I noticed it was sticking the other day, but you know how it is with DIY projects. Always something has to go wrong, so yeah, just a quick jiggle will do. PPS, I just realized that you might not be able to reach the log to jiggle it. I mean, not everyone can fly or is freakishly tall. 
Especially if you're a human or something. So just hope it doesn't get stuck. PPPS, I figured it out. If it gets stuck, just wait. I come around to inspect the puzzle quality every third day. Just hang out right where you are for a day or two. Oh, and I hope it doesn't get stuck. PPPPS, I have been informed that the amount of P's on this sign is unseemly. I am very sorry for any trouble they've caused. There was so much text, I, I kind of forgot what it said. <laughs> you look at the glistening crystals. Your skewed reflection stares back. up here. Hello, friend. My husband and I have been exploring the underground. Many secrets lie throughout these lands. It makes for a great and exotic honeymoon. Unfortunately, we're a bit lost at the moment. He says he knows where we are, but I think he's just embarrassed. Any idea where we could get a map? Next stop on our trip is supposed to be Waterfall. I hear there are glittering stones in the ceiling. It should be breathtaking and romantic. If we ever find it, that is. Uh, we're not lost. I know exactly where we are. We're not lost. We're in Snowden. Snowden isn't that big. We're not lost. We can't be lost. It's our honeymoon. It's got to be perfect, right? We can't be lost. That would be a terrible honeymoon. A bad honeymoon means a bad marriage. That can't happen. I can't be a bad husband. I won't let that happen. I won't let my new wife have a bad honeymoon. We can't be lost. We can't be lost. She can't know we're lost, okay? You feel heat coming off a pile of stones. Hmm. It's a big and imposing rock. It seems to be perfectly blocking the cave entrance. Passing looks impossible for the time being. Got anything to say about this flower? The longer you stand around talking to me, the higher the risk of frostbite gets. Now move it. there's anything else for me to do. I'm just stuck.
And the sign says to just wait, but it also says to wait for three days, which I don't think uh, is advisable. Oh, I can move them. Well, I would have liked a UI thing to explain that to me. Off of this pole? I've been stuck here for two hours now. Three dogs came up and dared me to lick it. Due to the cold weather, I'm now stuck. My mom told me to be back in time for lunch, too. Please help. Maybe some warm coffee will fill up the song. Let's let's find some coffee for this fella then. Some wood, presumably taken off the dilapidated shack. You notice a blue feather hidden behind it. Can I can I get the blue feather? I meant to flee, and I accidentally spared, didn't I? Why is it not letting me flee? like a different one in the code. Dear owners of dilapidated cabin, first, I am very sorry that your cabin is so dilapidated. Like, I don't know what happened to it, but I'm sure it was unfortunate. Second, I'm sorry that some of your wood has gone missing. According to the Royal Guard Guidebook, section 42, paragraph one, so long as notice is given to the original owner at least two business days prior, any and all eyesores can be repurposed for puzzles or other diversions. Well, I didn't know how to contact you, but consider this notice. Unfortunately, not of the prior variety, but, you know, notice. Howdy! How are you holding up? Things aren't getting any easier, huh? It would be nice to walk through here without a hassle. I guess that's not how the world works. That's monsters for you. Can never mind their own business. In any case, you're doing great. Keep it up, buddy. It's a snow castle. How cute. Insomnitot staggers forward. We're gonna lecture him. You inform Insomnitot of the benefits of a good night's sleep. It ignores you. You sound like my parents. And 
Somnitot is trying to shake the sleepiness away. You swing in Somnitot's tassel in front of its face. I'm getting sleepy? Insomnitot struggles to maintain consciousness. You attempt to sing a quiet lullaby. Insomnitot drifts off to sleep. You're a good singer. Insomnitot is in its happy place. <laughs> What's this? A new customer? Bam! Who am I? Nobody of note. You know. Just the best darn salesman ever. Wham! I'm Mo. Anyways. The fact that you tried to get your mitts on this mug could only mean one thing. You're looking for a delicious little something to hit the spot, right? Of course, I know your type. So, you want this here beverage? Of course not. You and I, we're on the same page here. This thing? Gross. No one wants that. Liquids? So last season. Solids? Ha! <laughs> season before. You want to be fresh and revolutionary? I got the latest thing. Solids that used to be liquids. And, you know, haven't been sitting out in the forest for three weeks. I have invented the next big thing here. For the incredibly low price of 15G, you can have your very own hot chocolate pop. It was once boring old hot chocolate, but now it's frozen to the perfect temperature. Have I piqued your interest yet? No thanks. <laughs> you sure you don't want one? You have to keep up with the times, pal. Here, I have an idea. I'll let you look at them for free. Call it a holiday special. I don't get a lot of shipments, so I only have one of each. Let's get down to business. Here's what I got. Hot pop, cold pop, or lukewarm pop? I'll take a hot pop. Great choice. You enjoy that pop, buddy. It's piping hot chocolate, frozen and then reheated. Okay, I was... Couldn't stay away? Well, bam! Take your pick. Here's what I got. Great choice. You enjoy that pop, buddy. Lukewarm pop heals 8 HP. Piping hot chocolate cooled to lukewarm status. I think we can go give the, uh, the hot pop to this fool. Maybe... Oh. He only wants coffee. Hot chocolate won't do it. not even the right liquid. No cone comes to see if you're made of fire. You aren't. One ski short of a snowmobile. No cone here, fire bright pretty. No cone like bright pretty. No cone is banging a rock against the fallen branch. The branch breaks. You patiently explain the dangers of an open flame. No cone seems receptive. Fire hot melt no cone. No cone not know this. You good friend to no cone. No cone has been enlightened. It's a snow castle. How cute. You open the doors. You open the drawbridge. Your head hurts too much to keep going. <laughs> no matter how much they throw the ice into the river, the pile never lessens. Humph! 238! Humph! 239! At this pace, Ice Wolf is ready for a new job in no time. New job is very important for Ice Wolf. Ice Wolf needs money for new pants. Hmm. <laughs> oh. 
Oh boy, oh gee, a customer. I'm nervous. I'm a mail whale from the Underground Postal Service. Haven't heard of us? We're the best. For short, just call us UGPS. So I hear you're new to the Underground. How do you ask? Well, word sure gets around. The Underground is great and it keeps getting better. Because I brought for you your very first letter. That was a special letter from us to you. Do you feel welcome now? I hope you do. Isn't the mail system a wonderful innovation? If you ever want to use it, just come to a station. They look just like this, and they're scattered all about. If you want to receive some mail, find one and give a shout. We assure you they are conveniently situated. Here at UGPS, we're anything but dated. Talking and sharing all using mail. From your underground friends, but that's all for this whale. Now I must be off. The mail mustn't be late. See you later on in your journey, mate. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Hello again, friend. Do you have mail to claim? Let's take a look. You don't? What a shame. If you want to check again, just ring the bell. Until we meet again, I bid you farewell. Come, new friend, right here to our space. Whether you roam or stay in one place, we hope you have friends with fun letters to send and always a smile on your face. Here's to more mail without any stress. Hope to see you again. Howdy! Must say, I didn't remember this place being so, you know, colorful. Really can't go two seconds without getting harassed around here. Hasn't anyone heard of personal space? Unless someone can mail you to ask, or I don't see why we need them. Anyway, let's get a move on. Time's a-wasting. <laughs> the remnants of a snowman, once full of life, now full of potential for new life. Okay, I think there was like a different way to go, and I don't want to like miss the coffee. If I can help that rabbit. I read something in a book once. It said, if life comes at you too fast, press B and take it slow. Whatever that means. Take the ice pellets? Yes. That's a uh, new ammo for our toy gun. I don't know what time it is and I don't care. just screw up and not try to give him the right thing, right? Hop, hop. Okay. Did these people have any coffee?
Anyway, they didn't have any coffee. Sorry, rabbit guy, I guess you're fucked. I tried, okay? I got him hot chocolate, I... Maybe he'll like lukewarm chocolate? No. He's got a jacket on, he'll be fine. Okay, I don't know what determines if you can like auto run from battles or not. We encourage No Cone to follow his dreams. No Cone wants to see fire! No Cone pursue fire dream? No Cone starts doing a primitive dance. You berate No Cone's ignorance and terrible grammar. This bullying! Bullying very mean! No Cone is being bullied! kind of want a, uh, like a fudge sickle. I live in the city. I'm not Costco adjacent, but I seem to recall that they have gigantic, uh, fudge sickle boxes. I used to eat those all the time when I was a kid. I actually really like that attack. It's got like just the right amount of stuff going on. <laughs> hey, watch it. Oh, 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 would you look at that? I think this chump wants to pass. Swig, toast, come over here. Yeah, boys? What's up? You need a shave again? We got ourselves some fresh meat. Huh, you ain't getting nowhere, small fry. Yeah, not nowhere. Will you two put a lid on it? Anyway, the name's Refill. I'm the boss of the world-renowned gang, the Shufflers. We rule this town. You want to pass? You're going to have to go through us. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No need to start a fight. Let's be civil here. Do you attempt to attack everyone that you encounter? Calm down, will you? Jeez. We Shufflers prefer to settle things in a more dignified manner. You catch my drift? We would like to propose a challenge. A game of sorts. We'll take this ball here and hide it under one of us. Next, we'll shuffle around. When we finish, you'll have to guess who has the ball. We'll do this three times in a row. You win. You can pass. You lose. We'll sit here blocking you for all eternity. You picking up what I'm putting down? That makes things easy, then. Here we go.
Nice eye, kid. Keep it up. You're doing good, kid. Now don't let it go to your head. Boss, I think the little punk beat us. That must have been a lucky guess. There's no way a glass of spoiled milk like you could have beat us. Now, now, toast. Let's simmer down. There ain't nothing to get heated over. The kid beat us fair and square. The shufflers ain't nothing if not true to their word. Ain't that right? Yeah, boss, a shuffler always keeps their word. Yeah, always. Now, kid, we'll let you pass. You've earned yourself a powerful friend in the shufflers today. All you gotta do is remember the name, and we'll be on your side if you ever need us. The shufflers always protect a friend. Right, boys? Yeah, you got a problem? We can handle it. Yeah, handle. You best be behaving out there, kid. Do the shuffles proud. If you don't, you might wind up an old discarded tea bag. You catch my drift? You're in the shuffles neighborhood now. You want to pass through here? You're going to have to get through us. We got a real hard game for you. Only one monster ever got past us. Oh, that was you, wasn't it? Sorry about that. <laughs> He's just repeating himself. You spreading the word of the shuffler's reign yet? It's pretty nice knowing we got someone out there, you know. It's stressful having to run the gang and our publicity, too. And remember, you ever need anything, we'll be here. There's always more monsters that need inconveniencing, you get me? Welcome to the Honeydew Resort. North, the Honeydew Lodge. Northwest, the Honeydew Hot Spring. East, exit to Snowden. Now this is what I'm talking about. A perfect place to relax and de-stress. Well, not perfect. A bit crowded for my taste. At least that keeps things interesting. Looks like this bear fell asleep on its way to the resort. It has jars of honey tied to its back. They're getting cold. Hey, have you seen those loiterers outside? They keep telling me they're a well-renowned gang, but I've never heard of them before. Maybe I really am getting to be out of the loop. Maybe I'll check out the band inside. I hear they're pretty kicking. I hope I'm hip enough to appreciate him at least. Nothing like avoiding life's responsibilities by lounging all day. Been here for two weeks, hit this same spot every day. It's so easy to lose yourself out here. I don't even know if I have a job to go back to. It's pretty great. Maybe it'd be nice if I was fired. I'll just go live in the wild and find my own food. That should be everyone's goal in life. I'm gonna be here a while. Know any good campfire songs? Is this a, a honey tower? This way to the hot spring. I wish my left hand was as cozy as my right. Normally I have two mittens, so my warmth is symmetrical. But I think my left mitten took a vacation or something. It just left me. It's on the it's on the log. There's a torch on one side, but not on the other. The feng shui of this place is terrible. Wait. What if there's a deeper meaning to it? The torch is a metaphor for the incomplete nature of life. I'll never look at the underground the same way again. Ah! <laughs> <coughs> I'm having too much fun with the voices. This is the hottest spot in Snowden. Quite literally. 
I've wanted to come here for forever, and this is finally my chance. It was worth the wait. This is complete bliss. The water is blocked by stairs. <laughs> Hello. Are you enjoying the warm atmosphere that can only be brought by a torch? Is it pleasant? Is it sentimental? Is it attractive? Man, I love being a torch. You know this job has a high turnover rate? Crazy, right? Apparently most monsters don't like having their head lit on fire. But you see my head? That's natural flame, baby. Best job ever. I love being a torch. Swimming is a great full body workout. Are you seeing these limbs? I've never been so toned. On top of that, I've dropped the whole goggle size. Sorry, can't talk anymore. I've got swimming to do. These pounds don't drop themselves. He's just like a ball. You know why they told me to go on this vacation? Well, because I come off as stressed, but you know why that is? I have a theory, see? Because there are just so many things in life to worry about. Work and laundry and an imminent starvation and so on. Those are important back home, but here, still important. Monsters pretend they're not, though, and you know what that is? Despicable, irresponsible, shameful behavior. You know how much part I'll have in it? None. Zip. Zero. Zilch. And that's how you should have too. And that's how much you should have too. I just realized something. This, this anti-stress thing, you know what this is? That downfall of the underground, that's what it is, see? Soon, monsters will stop doing the important things. The work and laundry and such. Completely undone. And you know why? Too much to worry about, that's what they'll say. Toxic, toxic behavior. I can't wait until this vacation's over, you see. At this altitude, so much to worry about, like, like, dehydration. You know what that causes. Altitude sickness. Now they don't go drinking that, what? Now don't you go drinking that coffee. It dries you right out. <laughs> I landed on like, uh... <laughs> I don't know what that was. Are you enjoying the tunes as much as I am? Actually, don't answer that. You're not. I used to be one of those super fans you hear about. Followed the band around from place to place. Learned all the aliases they use in hotels. Watched them buy their favorite brands of cereal. I'm reformed now, though. Now I'm content to sit and listen. Nothing could beat this. Actually, that's a lie. If they were playing my favorite song, that would beat this easy. Mind asking them to play it for me? I'll make it worth your while. Hmm, nice tune. Boy, do I remember the first time I heard this song. Not my favorite, though. A water cooler full of honey ready for drinking. Yum. How's it hanging? The name's Rodney. I'm the leader of our little band here. We travel all around the underground performing for the monsters. This resort is a regular gig. Care to hear a tune? Yes. Sounds good, friend. Here's one for the monsters that like a little time to themselves. Hmm, nice tune. Hmm, I wonder what their favorite song is. Hey, kid. The Get Up. I'm guessing you're from the dunes, huh? wacky place that is. I'm probably the only other one here that's been around those parts. Some monsters avoid it due to the dryness and high temperature. What's a kid like you doing hanging with those wild guys, huh? Don't look so confused. I'm just messing with you. <laughs> you gotta try the pancakes here. They're the main reason I traveled all this way. Is this a... Uh, Muffet's song? Yeah, it is.
care for a tune, my dude? <laughs> All right, nice. Hmm, let me work up something special. This one's for the fluffy troublemakers out there. It's dog song. My gosh, I haven't heard this song in forever. Definitely my favorite, hands down. Thank you so, so much. What can I give you? I know, here, you can put it on your hat. We got the band merch pin. That one's super rare, so don't you lose it. Only was sold at the concert they did at the dump that one time. Man, that was so grungy. A pin commemorating a concert you didn't go to. <laughs> dog song again. Oh, it's the Snowden theme. Got those three. They're very cute remixes, though. Well, welcome to the Honeydew Resort. Please look around. Is that the line? You want to talk? How's business? Um, well, this resort has been a family business for years. We use local honey in all our goodies while providing a warm place to visit. It was started by my great-great-uncle back in... It was my great-great-grandfather. I... Uh, I can't answer this customer's simple question. I'm not cut out for this job. So, uh, more about this place. Our amenities are neat. The honey cooler, our coveted latte machine. Oh, and the space heater. That's a special one. It was donated to us by a real nice engineer by the name of Chujin. His apprentice helped as well. He worked in the steamworks long ago when it was, you know, operational. Of course, everyone around here knew him for his generosity and soft smile. Always wanted to make people feel welcome. The heat from that machine often reminds me of those days. I hope it does to you too, if you were there, which you, you weren't. I'll shut up now. How's business? It's better than ever. This is the place to be in Snowden. Some come for the band, some for the hot spring. But the monsters love our coffee the most. I don't blame them one bit. It's a sweet blend of coffee beans, hazelnut creamer, and honey straight from the forest. I've already had 13 cups this morning. The band? Let's see. We have a few acts that come here to play. This the band is a very popular one from Hotland. Oh, you should totally hear their new single. I especially love the chorus. It's so good and... and... no, no. I've just been talking about what I like. You must be so bored. This is why I don't like conversations. Dalv. That name rings a bell. Hmm. Oh, I remember. A strange little guy. He would often visit here, sit down, and watch the band. It looked like he was in a trance every time he watched them. I always wanted to talk to him, but... The thought of socializing that much always scared me. Before I could muster the courage, he suddenly stopped visiting. I wonder where he went. If you see him, be sure to tell me... Be sure to tell him he's always welcome here. Okay, they sell coffee. GB parrots shaped like her face. A honeydew pin. I think our, our band pin is better. I'll get a 
pancake. Sprinting back with this coffee. Mr. Rabbit! Mr. Rabbit! Okay, so you just can't flee. Like at all, it's not even a check. They should at least let me flee from this guy. He's really easy. You take out the cup of coffee. Hey, what are you crazy? The face demon! I need something hot, but not that hot. <laughs> this rabbit does not deserve my assistance. I wonder if he can help me. Take true bravery to drink something this hot. Okay. Mr. Wolf, can you help me? No. Listen, I with the rabbit, I tried. God's hands now. Maybe I can get like a ice cube from the, the bear. No. Okay, does the green room just go into the backyard? <laughs> today than usual, huh? If I wasn't extremely lazy, I'd go to the Honeydew Resort and get some hot coffee. You take out the cup of coffee. For me? How can I ever thank you? Here, I found this in the snow. It was probably out there for ages. You got a soggy mitten. Oh, okay, we got a, a trading game going.
You take out the soggy mitten. It's my missing mitten. Just in time, too. My left hand was getting so jealous. I just can't live with that much civil unrest. I should really pay you back. Uh, but I don't think I have anything worth as much as my mitten. I know. Take this. It's a map of Snowden. You got a Snowden map. It's drawn in crayon. Now we go to the uh, the honeymooners. At least the, uh, the random battles have calmed down a bit. A map? Splendid! Did you make this just for us? I wish I had something as heartfelt to give in return. Would you like some extra matches? I've been holding on to them in case we needed a fire. We won't need one anymore. Our love will keep us warm. Sorry, that's a little cliche, isn't it? Well, I wish you the best. Don't use all those matches in one place. Okay, what do we do with matches? shed, but I don't think I need that to burn a random shed down. time. Want to know another excerpt from the book? It said, Please stop talking to me. I have exhausted my book quotes. A very wise book indeed. Please leave me alone. He looks like a smiling friend's character. Snow cone, please.
Okay, the wolf needs pants. I don't know who would need matches, though. Royal guards, thinking they're all special. They don't have screening processes like they used to. How do they interview these bozos? You want to be a member of the Royal Guard, yes? Here's a uniform. You start Monday. Just look at this puzzle. It was a perfectly nice bridge once. I remember what it looked like as a bridge. I would have called it a pretty handsome bridge. Now, you can say homemade is charming or whatever, but you can't call it handsome. No way, no way. Bridge slippery during snowfall. No running. 